Good morning, everyone. My name is Ron Franco, and I am the Senior Program Manager at the Princeton Blairstown Center. Thanks for taking some time on this beautiful morning and blessing me with the opportunity to share um, some of my nature knowledge with you. Perhaps you've seen a body of water similar to what's behind me. Does anybody know what that's called? That's right, it's called a vernal pool, also known as a vernal pond or an ephemeral pool. They're all throughout the state of New Jersey, but particularly where we are in Northwest New Jersey, um, they're very plentiful. So let me share some super cool facts with you. Vernal pools or ephemeral pools are seasonal bodies of water that provide critical habitat for plants and animals. More specifically though, for amphibians such as frogs. These vernal pools are unique wetland habitat. They're typically small, shallow, ephemeral bodies of water, meaning ephemeral, they are not here all year round. And unlike a traditional pond or lake, they have no permanent inlet or outlet source of water. Hmm. So how are they filled? That's right, vernal pools are filled each spring by rain and snow melt. To be considered a vernal pool, the area must hold water for at least two consecutive months. So here in Northwest Jersey, this typically happens in late February and ponds are dried up by the end of June. I hope you all are following along with me. Is it making sense so far? Do me a favor. Tell me in your own words, what is a vernal pool? Awesome, that's a great answer. Yep, it's a small body of water that needs to hold water for two months and it's critical for plants and animals, specifically amphibians. The next question though, is why is a vernal pool so important? That's a great question. All right, everyone, so let's answer that brilliant question. Why are vernal pools so important? Well, these vernal pools serve essential breeding habitat for certain species of wildlife, including salamanders and frogs. Specifically, here in Northwest New Jersey, vernal pools are important to the Northern Spring peepers, wood frogs, pickerel frogs, bullfrogs, and more. Another really cool fact is that because these pools dry up eventually, there are no fish in a vernal pool. This is super important for our amphibian friends because fish are highly predatory on amphibian eggs and larvae. The absence of fish is the essence of these ecosystems. We also have a beautiful song being sung this morning by our bird choir. I hear some crows in the background, and chickadees. And about a minute ago, I heard some wild turkeys gobbling in the background. Maybe we'll get lucky and hear one. Not only do vernal pools serve as essential breeding ground for frogs and amphibians and things like that, but for a few months out of the year, this is a local watering hole for deer and rabbits and the wild turkeys have been coming by. The birds seem to love up in the trees around it. You can see some vegetation starting to grow in the middle here. And this vernal pool filled up in about 
late January this year, which was a little early, but our winter was super mild. And the frog activity seemed to be at its peak a couple weeks earlier. It's April 1st today, and the frogs were pretty loud around March 8th or 9th. I'll come back later tonight and see if there's more activity. They're more active during the evening. All right, everyone, well, thanks for spending some time with me this morning. I hope it was fun and engaging and you learned a little bit about vernal pools. And I was wondering, perhaps if you're curious, to go venturing around your house or your neighborhood. Report back to me, do you have any vernal pools? When did you notice it? Are your frogs active? Can you hear the spring peepers at night? All right, y'all, I hope this was fun and engaging, and I'll talk to you soon.